Listen, listen, listen. I'm going to be a straight up internet uncle for some of y'all today. Your internet accountability partner, whatever you want to call me, I'm going to do that today. Or should I say tonight? On this nighttime edition episode, your guy Seals Demand is here to drop some real truth for you. When I made this video, I was thinking about my two younger nieces. Because I know as they grow up, as they get deeper in their social development and their social lives, they're going to meet young men. They're going to like these young men. They're going to crush on them and eventually they're going to get in relationships with them. And even though it makes my stomach turn just thinking about it, I know it's a reality because I went through the same thing when it came to young ladies growing up. So when I was making this video, I was like, okay, this is going to be more towards education for younger women. But then I thought about it. There are adults that are going through this as well. So this video is for all ages. And in this late night conversation with Sills the Man, I'm here to tell you, you'll never need to ask a man to be your man. Do you understand what I'm saying? Let me say that one more time. You'll never need to ask a man to be your man. You'll never need to force a man to be your man. You shouldn't feel like you have to pull out a gun and point it to his head to be your man. That is not it. So I'm gonna give y'all four, a quick video, four reasons why that is. Because I feel like a lot of us have been in situations or relationships where you feel like you're giving out more than what he or she is giving you, what's being reciprocated. Even feeling like you're in a relationship with yourself more than you are with this other person. The first one is simply a man knows what he wants. This is the thing, remember that. A, a, a man knows what he wants, right? But check this out, a child does not. A child is indecisive. You see why I brought that in there? Because a lot of us, a lot of y'all are in situationships, situations, relationships, whatever you want to call it, with grown size children. You want to call your grown size child a man so bad, but he ain't. I'm, I'm, I'm like, listen, tonight I'm going to give y'all the honest truth because I want the best for y'all. I went through this, so I know the feelings of this. I've talked to people who went through this, so I understand what they went through. So we're going to combine all of that and put it in this quick video today. You cannot force the grown size boy that you're in a relationship with to be a man. A grown man knows what he wants and a child does not because a child is indecisive. Some of y'all can attest to this. You can buy a child a toy that they've been screaming for for weeks and months. They've seen it on a commercial. They've seen it on TikTok. You could buy this child that specific toy that they've been wanting for so long, give it to them. They will play with it and will throw it away and be on to the next desired toy that quickly and you're just sitting there like yo you've begged me for this toy so long you better play with it a lot longer than what you're doing right now but that's children that is a child's mindset i cannot be mad at that you can't be mad at that because you know a child is a child you cannot be mad at a snake for biting you because it is a snake you cannot be mad at a cow for mooing because a cow moves do you get my drift here so you cannot be mad at a dude that you're in a relationship with, a situation ship, or whatever you wanna call it, if he does not want you, because he does not know what he wants. And this is why you have to decipher the difference between a man and a child. What are you in a relationship with? Let's go to the next thing, the next reason why you'll never have to ask a man to be your man, and that is because men are natural and traditional hunters. Men go after what they want. They will risk embarrassment to go after what they want. There is a mindset in men who go after what they want. They are ready to be said no to. They are ready to be rejected because they know that there is a risk for good things. And Lord knows I struggled with taking risks for a long time. I do not like rejection. And that affected my dating life in the past because I did not like to approach women because I did not like to be rejected. But I knew as a man, if I got to know a woman and I realized that she had qualities that could enrich my life that I needed, that I wanted, I knew that I would have to take a risk of rejection to get the greater reward. That's just the name of the game for men. Piggybacking off the first point, men go after what they want. So because men are hunters, they hunt. They go after their food, which is going to enrich their lives. They are the initiator because you have to initiate to receive. Think about this. When you're watching a Safari channel or Nat Geo or whatever, and a lion is chasing the gazelle, its prey, because it needed it as food. You will never see a gazelle asking a lion to be eaten. You will never see food asking the eater to be eaten. You'll never see dinner asking to be consumed. That is not how life works. 
Therefore, you should never have to ask a man to be yours. Because if he truly wants you, he's going to hunt you. He's going to go after you. He's going to initiate. He's going to plan things. He's going to talk the talk, but he's also going to walk the walk. His actions will back up the things he says to you. Those are all hunting strategies from men. The next reason why you will never have to ask a man to be your man is because a man takes pride in leading. If a man truly wants you, he wants to lead you. He wants to protect you. He wants to provide for you. He wants to teach you things. He wants to be your man. Those are all forms of leading. So in knowing that there are breadcrumbs, there are evidence of a man who wants to lead you. So if the path that man is leading does not include you, that means he is not leading you and that he has no desire to lead you. Leading shows, leading has proof. You don't ever have to guess if you're being properly led because it shows you're learning something, you're feeling it. You're actually moving in a desired direction. When you are led, you are know you are being led. And if his path does not include leading you, once again, that means he is not leading you. Do not force to be led by someone who does not want to lead you. And the last, the fourth reason why you will never have to ask a man to be your man is because, and I'm a firm believer in this, man, what's yours will eventually be in your grasp if it isn't already in your grasp. But what's not yours will resist you. When something is yours, it gravitates to you. It hovers around you. It comes to you. It floats to you. It's there. It's in the sight. It's in your visibility. But when something is not yours, it's going to resist you. It's going to fight you. It's going to scratch you. It's going to claw you. It's going to push you away. It's going to deflect you. You will feel these things, whether something is for you or whether something isn't for you. Do not turn a blind eye to these feelings because they're there for a reason to direct you. But staying on the concept of direction, you need to identify the direction of that force. Because as I just described, when something is for you, it pulls towards you. It gravitates towards you or you to it. But there is a force of magnetism. It's like putting two magnets together. They just connect like that. So that force is coming together inward. And when something does not want you, when something is resisting you, when something is fighting you, what is the direction of that force? Out, or you away from it, but it is not coming together. That is the opposite of magnetism. I'm a big science geek for those who don't know. So the minus sign and the plus sign on the magnet connects. But once you put a like symbol together, like a plus and a plus and a minus and a minus, they push away from each other. I don't wanna go into the science behind all that because it gets a little complicated. You have to be honest with yourself. Sit down and think and evaluate your situation, your relationship, and feel it. What direction of the force are y'all exhibiting between each other? Is there a pull force or is there a push force? Be real with yourself, all right? This is your guy, Seals the Man, your internet brother, and I am being a brother to you tonight. I want y'all to be honest with y'all self so y'all don't waste y'all time because you got too many great things to accomplish in this life of yours. And I know that. Peace and blessings. Love y'all. Goodbye.